Dwayne Johnson's skyscraper scores rare China release date during summer blackout. Legendary Entertainment and Universal and Number 39 Semicolon S upcoming Dwayne Johnson action thriller Skyscraper has locked down at July 20th release date in China, securing a rare slot right in the midst of Beijing and Number 39 Semicolon S usual summer blackout on imported Hollywood fare. The involvement of Legendary, which is owned by Chinese conglomerate Dalian Wanda Group, and the film in Number 39 Semicolon S setting in Hong Kong, may have played a hand in Skyscraper getting permission to screen during the lucrative summer window, which is usually reserved for domestic Chinese releases. Other major Hollywood summer titles, such as Disney and Marvel in No. 39 semicolon S Ant-Man and the Wasp, opening in the U.S. on Friday, have yet to land dates in China. Skyscraper will open between two major Chinese tentpoles, Zhang Wen's Hidden Man, July 13 which Warners is co-producing, and Tsui Hark's Detective D, The Four Heavenly Kings, July 27. Johnson stars in Skyscraper as former FBI hostage rescue team leader and U.S. war veteran Will Ford, who now assesses security for skyscrapers. On assignment in China he finds the tallest, safest building in the world suddenly ablaze, and he's been framed for it. A wanted man on the run. Will must find those responsible, clear his name and somehow rescue his family, who are trapped inside the building above the fire line. Skyscraper is written and directed by Ross and Marshall Thurber, who also helmed Johnson and No. 39 semicolon S Comedy Central Intelligence, with Neve Campbell and Pablo Schreiber co-starring. The Rock is one of Hollywood and No. 39 semicolon S biggest box office draws in the Middle Kingdom as he is everywhere. On Tuesday, Johnson sent the Chinese audience a shout-out over Instagram after Rampage, his most recent release, became his biggest star vehicle to date in China. Also Warner Bros. second highest grossing film of all time in China, Rampage earned $156.4 million there, compared to the $97.6 million in North America. Johnson clearly isn't in number 39 semicolon T counting his Fast and Furious movies as personal star titles, however, given that Furious 7 and Fast 8 both earned over $200 million more than Rampage in China. I'm extremely grateful to the people and culture of China for embracing me and my films the way they have over the years, Johnson posted. Thank you for your love and support, and as always, I look forward to coming back. Wow thank you China and I'm truly blown away and humbled by this monumental news. Rampage becomes my highest grossing film of all time in the Middle Kingdom. Rampage becomes the second highest grossing Warner Brothers film of all time. This stat is mind-boggling considering we've now surpassed, Harry Potter and Batman just to name a few. Rampage has officially hit the rare dollar one billion RMB mark and has become a top 20 all-time grossing international film. I'm extremely grateful to the people and culture of China for embracing me and my films the way they have over the years. Thank you for your love and support, and as always, I look forward to coming back. Hash Rampage Hash Career All-Time High Hash China